When people ask me questions about the paintings, they often focus on the process, so that's what I'd like to talk about. As you can see, the paint is poured on very, very thinly in many, many layers. So if you look deeply into the painting, you can actually see the foundation, the darker colors on the bottom. The process is very architectural. It's kind of like building a house. You start with the bones and you work out to the details. In this particular painting, we used about 20 different shades of blue. And from those, we developed another 20 shades. Our challenge was working in the warehouse to get those colors absolutely perfect. We would begin mixing the colors and we'd run outside in the sunlight to double check and put them on little test panels of canvas to be sure our colors are absolutely accurate. When I was awarded this project, there wasn't any moment of doubt about creating the work. The challenge was finding the right people, the right materials. They wanted to see three smaller paintings from which they would choose their favorite. So we made three beautiful paintings and each of them very different. And of course, they picked the most difficult of all. When we received the word that this blue painting was chosen, we just took a deep breath because you can see the pouring is going from side to side horizontally. And so just the idea of making it was a challenge. It forced me to reach very, very deep into my artistic and my aesthetic core to figure out how to do this and do it well and to make something that would absolutely enhance the environment, telling the story of this new town so full of vitality, the borough, and I do think we have succeeded. Five and a half months of work went into this, and so we are very pleased and grateful and excited to share this with the world. The architects and designers and the committee all decided that the painting would be 15 feet high by 21 feet wide, which means because you can't buy canvas that wide, we had to break it into three parts. Each part is seven feet wide by 15 feet. So you can imagine the challenge to suspend this heavy canvas on ladders and step ladders and stools. And we had to contend with balance issues. It was a huge technical challenge to do each pour. And it would take almost a day to set up the canvas to put one color on. People ask me also, when did you know you wanted to be an artist? Well, in my case, I just knew from the moment I was born. My mother, who was very, very well-educated and understood art, bought me wonderful professional art supplies when I was three and four years old and I would go out in the backyard and do little watercolors. And then I would make little shows and I'd place them all around the house. And I would charge money. I said, you can buy these, they're five cents a piece. So I consider myself a commercial success at about four years old. My love was really watercolor. I love the transparency and the spontaneity of the paint. Put it down and watch it move, watch it form, watch colors mix on the paper. And I met in 1979 a gentleman who soon became our, my mentor, but when I saw the work of Paul Jenkins in a huge gallery in New York, it brought me to my knees. His huge paintings with primary colors poured on canvases absolutely captured me. I stood in the middle of the gallery and started to cry. The poor salesperson came over and said, are you all right? And I said, I've never been better. I think it was, it was one of those life-changing moments. Then I had the good fortune to meet this wonderful man, and for 30 years, he was my mentor and kind of coached me through this. Never showed me how, ever. Only looked at my pictures and my slides. And finally, in 1988, he said, 
you're ready for a show. So that was the beginning, and I owe so much to Paul. He was a fabulous friend and mentor.